Dr. Cook, you're investigating a new, a novel device that can predict seizures. Can you talk a little bit about how it works? Sure, Miriam. This is really something very exciting. The device is uh, part of a study that NeuroVista Corporation in Seattle have established in Australia. We're performing it at three centres. The device is an implanted device, so it requires a craniotomy. A hole is made in the skull and some electrodes are inserted in between the skull and the brain. These record the EEG continuously, which is fed down a wire to a box which is implanted in the chest, much like a cardiac pacemaker. Information is transmitted to a handheld device that the patient has that has a series of lights. The lights indicate the, the likelihood of a seizure in the minutes or hours ahead. The lights are red, white or blue. The blue light indicates a low likelihood of seizure, white a moderate likelihood and red a high likelihood of seizure. Now the way the information is collected is that the EEG is continuously recorded. That's uploaded to the NeuroVista Corporation where machine learning processes are applied to the data to try and understand patterns in there that allow seizures to be predicted. Eventually, when enough data is collected, the patient's device is enabled so that they can see these lights come on when they reach these various stages of seizure likelihood. And how have your findings been so far? How is it working? It's been going very well. So we've implanted 15 patients and of those, 10 have collected sufficient data to program and six have been activated. Four are still in the process of getting to that point. But the results so far have contained a few surprises. First of all, patients are having enormously more seizures than one might have expected. Now, we always knew that there was going to be a few more from what they recorded, but in fact, there's up to 10 times as many. And sometimes patients are overestimating the number of seizures that they're having. More importantly, though, we've been able to demonstrate for the first time that we can predict seizures. So we've been able to demonstrate conclusively statistically that we can show when seizures are going to happen not in all patients by any means, but in the majority of them. And these warnings are of minutes to hours. This is really important because it's the uncertainty of epilepsy which causes so much of the disability. And so if you can allow people to see what situation is ahead of them, then they can modify their lifestyle or perhaps take a medication to try and improve the likelihood of a seizure happening. This is potentially a life-changing process because it transfers so much of the situation back to the patient's control. This is Miriam Tucker reporting from Baltimore.